Okay, so we are now on step six. And step six, we need some components from the parts tree. So we need uh, the C5s, which are gonna be the uh, stub axles, if you like, going out to the, to the wheels. And we're gonna need the um, trailing arms, which are going to be from our E7 and E9 parts. Uh, these are slightly different plastic to these, so they're a bit softer. Uh, we're also going to need some um, screws as well, so some self-tapping self screws. Uh, BA3s, we need four of those. Uh, they are 3mm by 21mm. And we need a couple of these longer screw pins, uh, BA15s, which are 3mm by, uh, by 38mm. Um, so we need to put these together, quite a nice simple step to do. So I've done one of these uh, ready. So just to show you how they go, because they're, they're exactly the same for left and right. And you get your two of your E7 and your E9s, you pop them together. Then from the, from the side of the uh, E9, you actually screw the two screws. So this holds together and, and remember here, this is soft plastic, so you don't have to really go mad here. The idea is to screw them together so that they're nice and tight, but not overly tight. So um, again, just gently pop them together. You'll feel when, they, um, when the screw stops, you'll feel uh, that it's, it's done. And then I, just, I normally just do a quarter turn more, and that's normally enough. There we go, so that's, that's in. And then, we need our, I call it the stub axle. Um, this is where the wheel and the axles go through. That's gonna go into this section here, like this, this way around. And you need a little bit of grease. So I'm just using a bit of the white grease I've got here on the axle, because it says greasy axle. And that's nice, so there you go. Um, I'm just using a little pot, a little grease there, there we go. And you pop this through, uh, again, keeping the orientation correct. So we're going to go through here and we're going to pop this up through and uh, through the actual uh, stack backs or bottom there. And you just push this, push it through, you just jiggle it, jiggle, jiggle it through. There you go. <laughs> uh, once you're through, um, the screw section is on this side here. So as you, the pin goes through and you screw this through. And again, soft plastics here, so it's a nip and a quarter turn. That's it. There we are. And that's nicely, nicely free and nicely to, to move. There you are. So that is step six done. For step seven, we need again a couple of parts plus the assembled uh, rear section that we've done in step six. Um, so that's here. We need the rear axles so these are the slightly uh, gray color ones that you'll see in the bag um, so you just again just line them up with the drawing as you can see and we need some more of our 1150 size bearings um, which i have as well so um, let's pop those bearings into each side of the carrier and the axles then go through uh, as i'm using bearings i don't need to grease this section here um, if you're using the plastic um, bearings, then put a little bit of grease on these axles as shown, but uh, we're using proper bearings. So it's a case of popping your bearing in into, your st into the stub axle carrier, popping it through one side and the other. And the same again on the other side of the bearing carrier. Pop that through one side and the other. There we go. Uh, if there's any little excess bits, just wipe that off. There you go. And then your axle carriers go through like that, like that. That is step seven completed. Okay, so on step eight, we need some more of the components from the E tree, which are these two uh, E8 arms, the, the upper arms. We need uh, the uh, B17, which is a shaft that goes through the gearbox. 
the gearbox joint long, they call it, and you need a BA16, which is a gearbox joint short. We need a couple of the BA12, which are the three millimeter O rings, they're black in color, and again, reference them up to the drawing so you get the right ones. And we also need a couple of the BA10s, uh, two of those, which are three millimeter washers, again, up to the drawing, and a couple of the step screws, the three by 18 millimeter step screws. Uh, we need a couple of those too. Uh, again, offering those up to the drawing. We need our um, axle, rear axle arms uh, that we built in previous steps. And we need also our gearbox assembly that we built from steps uh, as well, previous steps as well. So got all our components, it's now popping these together. So I'm going to show you how we put these together. So I've done one side. Uh, we need the step screw, which will go through this, this section here. We need one of our washers, which goes on the other end of the step screw. So we just need to pop that on the other end, like so. And then we take our arm, our E8 arm, and we, we need this bit because that's gonna sit here. So we need to bring that across, bring that on the back of the screw and just use the motor as a lining up aid uh, to get the screw threads going. So you can push against it. So it's nice and straight-ish. There you go, a couple of threads. And there we go. We now just screw this through and nice and tight. And because it's a step screw, it's going to leave the arm to be able to move freely. Um, so there we go. Not too mad. It still needs to move nice and freely. So that's that bit done. We then need to pop our gearbox joint in and long. So a little bit of little bit of grease in, in here. I'm just using a bit from my, my rag there. So just pop a little bit of grease in there. We've got the O-ring to put on. Um, you can use the shaft to press it in. I've got a pair of tweezers, so I'm just going to use a pair of tweezers. Just in there, nice and flat. There we go. Then there we go, nice and flat. Just a little touch of grease on there as well, just to make sure. First, I'm just putting a little bit of grease in there, so it's nice. No, it's nicely greased. Uh, and then what we need to do is on the actual shaft here, this long shaft, we put some more grease on, and it goes into the into the gearbox. So um, just putting a little bit of grease on from my, this is just the white grease, there you go. There we are. Yes, that's plenty, plenty. Don't have to go absolutely potty with it because we've already got some grease in there. And then that goes in and it finds, it finds the gears and then it slots in. There we go. So there we are. That is step eight is now complete. Okay, so we are now on step nine, and uh, we're getting along quite nicely here. This build's becoming uh, very fluid and very easy. Um, so for step nine, we need a few parts. So first of all, we need these, the BA18s. We need two of those, and these are actually uh, steel uh, dog bone shafts. Uh, we need a couple of the BA14s, so we need two of those. We need a couple of the BA10s, the washers. And we need a couple of the BA6, which are the three by 14 millimeter step screws. And we need also our parts that we've built from the previous steps because we are going to put them all together. Wonderful. In preparation for step nine, what I've actually done is I've actually greased the uh, three by 46 millimeter uh, screw pins and I've also greased the BA18 drive shafts. I've actually prepared those already so over here you can see they're prepared so the, the ends here and here and the center sections of these screw pins all nicely greased ready for us to assemble. So I'll just show you how to do step nine. So we take the three millimeter by 46 millimeter pin and we just Enter this through here, j -j jiggle it in, there we go, oh, here we are, Fall, fell through there. Um, and then we tighten this step screw um, like so. Um, don't go too mad, very, very soft plastics, you just need to nip it up till it stops. And then 
quarter turn. That's it, that's all we need. Now we need to take our axle, our drive, a dog bone axle. We need to line one side in and then the other side of the drive cup, we need to line, line that up and that goes into place. So now we have the axle in place and then what we need to do, we need to take the arm that comes down, we need to line up a washer in between and take our step screw through the washer and into and into the top of the C uh, the C part that we did with the housing of the axe of the actual axle the wheel axle and then you tighten that up again tighten it up carefully don't go too mad nip it up and then a quarter turn and you don't want any slop but you don't want be too tight so there you go nip up the tight turn so you've got a nice freely moving rear axle and shaft there we are so we now have both of those on so there we have it the finished axle the rear axles with the drive shafts in place and the rear axles in place the bearings are in place and that is essentially step nine complete and the completion of bag a components we now move on to step 10 and bag B components. For step 10, we need some more parts from the parts tree. From parts tree B, we need the B11 part, which is this bottom piece, the B3 part, which is this piece. We also need the upright, which is B9, we also need from parts tree E a couple of these arms that go out to the, the wheel areas and we need some screws from bag B. So we need some 3 by 21 millimeter BA3s. These are like a, a larger step screw. We also need um, another BB4. We need some 3 by 12 millimeter self-tapping screws. We need some step screws, three by 14 millimeters. So these are the BA6 and a couple of the BA10s, the three millimeter washer. And it's a case of putting these pieces together to form the front damper uh, mounting points. And that's what we're gonna do next. So popping these together. So we're going to put B3 and B11 together first. So we're gonna pop those two on top of each other and you can see they line up quite well and the holes line up really well so we need to use the longer of the step screws the BA3s the two of those they go through these deeper holes so we pop those down there and we can pop those in and we can screw those down together so there we go so you just give a bit of a bite on each one so they bite in and then I'm just gonna screw those home and they'll be nice again not too mad this is Quite, uh, quite soft the plastic, you don't want it to be, you don't want to strip the threads out of it. So you just down, nice and tight, down, nice and tight. There we go, stop, there we are. As soon as it stops, that's it, you're done, it's there. And it's a case of just keep that going. There you go, stop one there, one there, so that's now done. We then take our tower and we make sure it's the right orientation. So you're looking for these areas here and you're going to use a pair of the BA, BB4s, the 3 by 12 millimeter screws. And we need to make sure we line it on these holes like so. And then we don't throw them down on the floor like I've just done. <laughs> um, there. So then we're going to pop these in the holes there and we're going to collect the hole that's in there and again couple of just get that a couple of threads going and then you can do the other one jer, jer, jiggle it into place there we are a couple of threads on there and so again keeping that nice and flat turn it around the other way so you can see there we are and you can see there that I'm tight and a quarter turn and that's all you need get the uh, headline up there we are and again tight and a quarter turn. We have it, so that's bit there. And now, again with the orientation, we're gonna use our greased 
step screw and we're going to use our arms. Um, these arms are the same both sides so there's no there's no difference to them. So again these will go on uh, the um, holes that are here. So they will actually fasten on there. So again using one of the step screws which we put a little bit of grease on and we're going to pop one of the there we go so we've got to pop one of the washers into place one of those on top and the step screw actually the easiest way probably line the step screw up with the washer and then and the hole so you can you'll see and feel it go into place so yeah I'm sort of working, you know, I'm right handed, so you'll have to forgive me. Um, there we go, and we just pop that into place until it is tight. Tight and a quarter turn, and it still needs to move freely. And we do the same again with the other side. So we're going to again pop our washer into place. We're going to pop our greased step screw into place, line up the hole and the washer, there we are, a couple of threads there we go, so we line up the hole and the washer in place, there's a little bit of a cat hair there from, from Mr Giz, All right there we go, line up the, then we do those together, there we are, and now that's screwed into place and a quarter turn and if you get a little bit of grease on just quickly so there we are ladies and gentlemen there is step 10 complete